Hello, another one doing today. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, if you're returning, if you are glad to have you back, and welcome to another episode of Fallout 4. Um, I'm still getting over my cold, still coughing quite a bit. Um, so that's why there hasn't been any follow-up videos for quite a while. Um, but I wanted to get one done, because we haven't done one in a long time. Or it feels like a long time to me. Um... Excuse me. Um, in the last episode, we finished up the main quest for uh, Nuka World. We got the power back on. Um, we took out the... Um, I can't remember the group that took over the power plant. But we took, o or we, uh, took them all down and we powered up the uh, power plant back up. And um, yeah, in today's episode... <coughs> Sorry about that. In today's episode, we are going to be um, using the last star core, because I got all the star cores. We're going to be using the last star core and getting the uh, quantum power armor. And we are going to be uh, going to Sierra, because I got all the uh, secret passwords for... Um, the cappy thing that she wanted. All right, so let's grab our drinks, let's grab our snacks, and uh, let's get into this. And look at White Dog standing beside that broken eyebot. Yeah, come over here. All right, let's go. <coughs> Do I have any? Nope. No so this is today. what they thought the future would look like, huh? <laughs> Say they missed the mark. Oh, that was weird. The game kind of... It froze for a second there. <coughs> <coughs> Oops. Alright. And now it's time to use the final star core. I can't remember where to use it. I think I use it... Oh, right there. I think. Right here. Oh, yeah. Awesome. All right. Uh, display case access. Open display case. 35 out of 35. Look at that. Quantum power armor. I love the color. It's really nice. <coughs> Increase action speed, refresh speed with all pieces equipped. So basically, um, <coughs> what this does um, is, like, you know, <coughs> um, the AP on the other side, like I'm running like this, it'll go down, it'll recharge a lot faster, as you can see, a lot faster. So let's uh, take a look at this. Let's go into the sun here. Take a look at this. Oh, come on. There we go. It looks pretty, pretty cool. Although it is lower breaking. Um, because the XO1, or the Advanced Mark 1, <coughs> was actually made... Uh, pre-war and then I think they changed this this uh, the backstory for the armor um, <clears throat> for, for just for Fallout 4 they changed it they're like oh um, these armors were made pre-war but <coughs> they never they were in um, I can't even remember basically they weren't in even in production or anything <coughs> Which makes zero sense because um, leading up to the Great War, uh, the was it the T fifty one and the forty five were the leading armors. Um, so to have this even in <coughs> to even have this in um, that display case, it just it, 
honestly doesn't make sense. But for, from a gameplay perspective, I guess I can understand because they're, you know, um, you're not going to want to have a player, you know, be like, oh, 45 armor, wow, you know. I mean, you could make it the best T45 armor in the whole game. But because it's a, in quotations, <coughs> um, you know, early game armor, the T45, you know, um, people probably wouldn't really like that very much. Okay, on to our next thing that we're going to do today, because I could complain about this all day, all night. Let's go to the parlor. Okay. Made some good moves, boss. Guess Gage knew Here she is. Let's talk to her. Careful out there. The park's a pretty dangerous place. I found all the hidden cappies. Each one had a letter? Great. Let me take a look at these letters. Well, anyone who stared at Nuka Cola merchandise as long as I have would get this one pretty fast. The letters definitely spell refreshing. It's simpler than I was expecting. It's an amusement park. Of course it's simple. The contest was meant for kids. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I guess sometimes I take all of this Nuka-Cola stuff so seriously. This door should lead to Brad Burton's office, but it's locked up tight. The keypad is the only way to open it. I guess we just need to key in the ten numbers that correspond to the word refreshing. You did all the work looking for the hidden copies, so you should be the one who gets to enter the code. <clears throat> That's it! The door's unlocked! Let's go inside! Alright. I'm gonna take my helmet off, though. Alright, let's go inside. Let's search carefully. I'm willing to bet this place has a few secrets, and they'll probably be well hidden. All right, let's take a look. I could have been here before the war. You know, just to see what it was like. <clears throat> I'm surprised she didn't grab these. Oh, wow, that one after had the screen on it. The formula would be hidden somewhere. No way Brad Burton would leave it out in the open. He doesn't look like he's having a good time. Oh. Oh my god, they just drank them all. <laughs> That's terrible. Wow. Well done. Okay. This is amazing. Like I said, I'm honestly surprised you didn't take the new call. Okay, what is this? Okay, um... Nuka Cola Clear. Let's play it. In regards to Nuka Cola Clear production, I think it's obvious that Look we need to take a step back and examine the facts. Project Cobalt dropped Quantum in our laps. 
so I think it's best we leverage its potential popularity before someone else beats us to market. Additionally, installing the equipment to produce both I flavors know that formula would cost here. us a pretty penny, I also know it'll be and I'd rather use sealed. funds to promote Quantum. We also have our Lemon Lime flavor debuting soon, and need to work out how to market two clear-colored flavors simultaneously. With all these factors taken into account, I have no choice but to hold off Nuka-Cola clear production for at least the next two fiscal years. It's hard to believe I'm really here! Okay. So let's read the terminal and see what we got. Oh, oh uh, Nuka World Mail System. Okay. Oh geez, we got a lot of mail. All right, <clears throat> to uh, Guile Gills, Mains Grove, Voltec, uh, Special Projects. Okay, uh, just wanted to reach out to you and say thank you for the work that you've done on my private sanctuary with the installation of the control switch. Work is finally complete. Amusing, or yeah, amusing, and and good I don't know to share about the final day. Uh, the engineers needed to know where to place the access switch. Obviously I wanted it concealed, but where? Uh, then the answer came to me. It should be placed near my greatest creation, the very reason for my success. I can think we both agree that it was an inspired choice. <clears throat> Thanks for everything, Gills. The money has been wired to your account. Uh, sir, I've been cleared. Oh, I've cleared your schedule uh, as you requested for the latter half of the entire year. <clears throat> I can assure you this was no small feat. Also, your medical records have been transferred to Braxton's team uh, and all the backup copies destroyed. I hope you know what you're doing, sir. If you go through with this process, you may never be able to speak in public again. We can certainly work around that, but your presence has been the driving force behind the Nuka-Cola Corporation since the beginning. And I think it'll be a great loss if that were to change. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> <coughs> I've considered your proposal for shutting down the Galactic Zone to over start control mainframing of the robots I have to say that I have I'm, I'm taken back by the suggestion if there's one thing I've taught you it's that no matter how tough things get we never give up tell the manager over there we'll just have to hunger down and make do with what he has I poured billions into that park and I'm not about to watch it trickle away by closing the gates as far as uh, disarming the robots in the park. Uh, that's also a no. If things do go south at no a nuka world, that force of robots is the only protection we have. Cooperating with Robco was the only way I could get that type of weaponry outside of a military base. So suck it up and get whatever his ass is name moving so we can get that problem fixed. <clears throat> oh boy. <clears throat> okay. Sir, I've done as you requested and informed all security personnel about our problems with the FA or sorry, A AFAD group. We're doing the best we can to keep them as far away from secure uh, Safari Adventure <coughs> as possible. <coughs> Uh, as possible. But we're understaffed. I need every man and woman I can get. But you've assigned 12 of my people to Project Cobalt, Cobalt and have yet to replace them. Any help is appreciated, sir. Have a wonderful day. Well. <clears throat> <coughs> I started reviewing the <clears throat> Hidden ca Cappy Contest details, and I've had a, and I have a question. So I actually have to receive the contest winners in my office in person. <clears throat> if so, have you considered how Project Cobalt could affect that idea? 
I mean, I'll do it for now, but we have to revisit the issue once my transfer is complete. Anyways, I promise you that I will submit the rest of my comments and changes this week. Uh, I've been too preoccupied with Project Cobalt, and I've and I've definitely <coughs> put it off for far too long. Don't worry, Peyton. If it takes any longer, just tell the marketing team to come after me with torches and pitchforks. All right, two more. Um, sir, I appreciate your enthusiasm over the quantum beverage idea. But I really think we should run more tests before we just send it out to the market. <clears throat> the isotope that we're using is strontium-90, which is extremely radioactive. It's perfect for the military's applications, but even, you know, Rex's purification distilling process. It can be quite dangerous. <coughs> now I know that the bright blue bottles will look wonderful on store shelves and we stand to make a lot of money with the product. But I think the long term effects it can have. Oh, but think of the long term effects it can have. <coughs> um, we already know it causes Imbibber's urine to glow. And while there is a beverage beverage lab find that amusing, I find something like that coming out of my body, you know, disturbing. <coughs> I have a battery of tests I'd like to perform before release the product to the oh to Washington D.C. test market. All I ask is six to eight month delay. You know, I await your answer. Clearly. Very clearly, they did not get their uh, six to eight month. Um, <coughs> what do you call it? They didn't get their waiting time because if we go to DC, we can clearly see quite a few bottles of uh, quantum. Actually, if you guys remember in Fallout 3, uh, there is a whole quest for Sierra to collect 30 quantum bottles. So clearly, they did not get the. Um, time that they asked for for more testing on the quantum <coughs> all right i absolutely love the nuka condolences fruit and uh, cheese baskets he sent out to the families of our early prototype quantum flavor flavor testers great idea i i think i love the fine print of the health damage waiver you had to sign before they joined up even more saved us billions i suspect you're on the top of your game, Peyton. And maybe someday you'll be sitting in the big chair. For now, enjoy your shiny new quantum blue Corvega you found parked in your driveway this morning. You earned it. Oof. So basically, I guess the people died of radiation from having a drink. And basically, I guess the waivers pretty much said, well, you decided to do it, so not our problem. <coughs> wow. Okay, I guess that is it. All right, let's see what else we got here. Oh, look, there's a Brad Burton safe. Okay, let's open this up and see what's in here. Perhaps we'll learn more about Project Cobalt. Because <coughs> I keep talking about a Project Cobalt. Okay, why can't I open this? Am I going the wrong way? No, there we, there we go. Nice. Okay, so we're going to want General Braxton to visit. Let's listen to that one. That sounds pretty important. Look, Brad Burton, I didn't fly down from D.C. to get jerked around. You either sign off on Project Cold just that door. look at this place. This isn't like deciding what color bottle to pick for our next flavor, General. You're asking me to take my laboratories and my beverage years and basically turn them over to your team. I need assurances that my people and my facilities 
are going to be treated with the respect that they this deserve. This is like walking through history. You and I both know that's a load of horse shit. Stop treating me like one of your soft drink competitors. I'm here representing the U.S. military. I already told you you'd be well compensated. Now cut the crap and tell me what you're really after. Wow. Fine. This is amazing. I want in on the military sleep X program. What? How the hell did you know about that? Let's just say you're not the only one in this room that can throw his weight around in Washington, General. I've been following the Wish program ever been since here its inception, the war. and I have to you say know, I'm impressed. Just to see what it the was ability like. to keep a human in a state of veritable immortality using a machine. Now that's something that I didn't expect from the military. Look, you want me to agree to this proposal? Then get me on the Leap X list, and I'll sign whatever you want. Hard to believe I knew you were I always knew you were a greedy son of a bitch, John. But the last thing I expected to hear is that you were afraid of death. If you know so much about Leap X, then you know it's in its infancy, and there are a lot of kinks to be worked out. It isn't as easy as throwing a switch, and suddenly you can live forever. Stop trying Just to talk me out of it. look at this place. Both know the enemy is developing chemical and biological weapons, and that my beverageers are the top organic chemists in the world. Our countries are in a race where no one comes in second, General. <coughs> so you need to ask yourself: This is can you really afford to stand here and say no? You had this all figured out before I even arrived, didn't you? Okay, fine. You want in on the Lebex? You got yourself a deal. You know, maybe immortality is what's best for you, Brad Burton. Wow! It'd be a goddamn shame amazing. to let that ego go to waste. All right. <clears throat> so, for those of you who don't know the Leap X program, it's something similar to um, what, like the the Robo Brains and and stuff are. And as you guys know, the Robo Brains are <coughs> basically human brains and jars and stuff like that. Um, so it's something similar to to that, um, and basically, obviously, um, in the robo the brains, we see them still no. rolling around. Um, so essentially, it, like. it just it, it kind of makes you live forever. But like you said, there's kinks and there's things that aren't really. <coughs> it's not all amazing games and stuff like that, like the general tried to explain. Um, but I guess uh, we'll have to find out. He wants in. Leap back, so does that mean that Brad Burton's still alive somehow? It's hard to believe I'm really here. I guess we'll have to find out. Okay, so it's telling us to look around, but I don't see anything else. Let's search carefully. I'm willing to bet this place has a few secrets, and they'll probably be well hidden. Okay. Maybe there's another button. No. Just look at this place. Well, it looks like there's a door behind here. But how do we open that? Okay, that's just mail. Wow! This is amazing. Okay, how do I move this shelf? Okay, I'll, I don't know how to move the shelf. Is it something to do with this? Nope. Um, I wish I could nope. have been here before the war. You know, just to see what it was like. Formula would be hidden somewhere. No way Brad Burton would leave it out in the open. Obviously, but I'm trying to figure out how to open up the thing. <clears throat> okay, so it turns out that the button is right on this here, beside here. So Look let's go. At that. Mr. Brad Burton, you were one sneaky devil. Well, fine. Don't come in then. 
<coughs> At least White Dog knows to get in. All right, let's take a look at what the we got here. got to be past this door. Wow, what is this place? Let's take a closer look. A random shopping basket. Yeah, okay. <coughs> Looks like we got a vault. Is he in a vault or something? Okay, I guess I, I guess I have to put the uh, helmet on so I can uh, use the headlamp thing. All right. So it looks like there are some things we can grab here, just random stuff. What do you think is in here? I don't know. Let's take a look. Hmm, Actually, well, first. This looks interesting. That's nothing. Come okay, on. let's go. <coughs> what on earth? Wait. Whoa. No. It can't be. That's John Caleb Bradburton. <sighs> or at least it's his head. Wow. Who, who are you? I haven't seen a real human face in so long. I had given up all hope. Oh my god! It's alive! He's alive! <laughs> my name's Sierra, sir. I'm your biggest admirer. I love Nuka Cola more than anything. This is such an honor. You there, with the Pip Boy. What are you doing here? <coughs> I won the contest. We solved your hidden cappy contest. The hidden cappy contest. It all seems so long ago. Another lifetime. That was before I became this monster. Before I was trapped here for centuries to suffer in solitude. This was General Braxton's plan all along. Damn the man called it Project Cobalt. In exchange for my weapon design, he would give me access to life-extending technology. I'm such a fool for taking him at his word. He never told me that this would be the price. I think the person who does his voice, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure, does the voice for, of, um, oh, what's his name? Um, uh, Joshua Graham in New Vegas. Uh, I see, I'm trying, I'm truly sorry. I can't imagine what you must have gone through. I'm truly sorry, Mr. Bradburton. A, a weapon? I don't believe it. Why would the genius who brought so much joy to the world want to make something destructive? Genius is restless, madam. It must expand, seek new challenges, and explore new frontiers. So yes, a weapon. It was going to be a quantum-enhanced variant of the standard portable tactical warhead. In fact, the prototypes are stored in this very chamber. You can have them on one condition. I want you to shut off the power to this machine that's keeping me alive. I want to die. What? No! <clears throat> uh, are, are you sure? Are you really sure that you want to die? I've had plenty of time to think about it. You can't kill him. He's a great man. He invented Nuka-Cola, the best thing in the world. Lady, you don't know what a torment it is. Being trapped here alone and staring at the same wall, decade after decade. Now please shut up while I talk to your more rational friend here. <laughs> I realize that what I'm asking isn't <coughs> easy, but there's something in it for you. When the power is cut, the door to the prototype storage room will open automatically. 
Take anything you want. I don't care anymore. Just please, set me free at last. I can't bear this loneliness any longer. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Mr. Bradburton wants to die because he's lonely, right? Well, maybe I could stay with him, you know? Keep him company, give him someone to talk to. He's like a hero to me. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what's a uh, good point. Oh, the prototype. Oh, I can't even save it. I don't know. <coughs> because he wants to die, right? And I mean, Sierra's not going to stay forever. Realistically, she's not going to stay forever. Overwhelming. Is that why you stopped talking? Um, you know, I mean, like I said, realistically, she's not she's not going to stay forever. Um, and then what happens like if if she dies, then he'll be stuck forever and ever and ever and ever and ever again. Same thing. <coughs> so you know what? I'll say what's in it for me, just to see what happens, and. You know, Mariana, whatever it is, we'll just you reload it. That always gets if he lives, I don't get the prototype ammo. What can you offer to make this worth my while? Well, uh, I do have one thing that might interest you. I've got a limited edition Nuka Cola jumpsuit. It's really stylish, and not many were made. It's one of my most treasured possessions, but, well. A, a jumpsuit? I'm willing to let you have it. A Nuka Cola jumpsuit? Ha! That's a paltry prize compared to what I'm offering. The choice is yours. But I beg you to honor my wishes. There is no one else who can help me. I sort of feel sorry for him. I couldn't stand Honestly, being a frozen head. How could I drink I'm probably gonna shut off the, I'm gonna shut off the power, honestly. <coughs> and then I'll explain. Um, well, I mean, I already did kind of explain already, but... Finally. Free at last. No! Mr. Bradford! I'm sorry! Bradford and safe key, all this new cocoas. Nuka Cola formula. There we go. Nuka Nuke. Um, schematics. Now I can make them if I want to. Fat Man plasma pistol. Ooh, mixer. Oh, we got some <coughs> other things here too. All right, let's go. You wanted the Nuka Cola formula? Here it is. So it really was here. I'm grateful. I don't think this means I've forgiven you. You killed the man who was my greatest hero. A man who revolutionized the soft drink industry and whose creations put smiles on a million faces. Who the hell are you to just walk in here and destroy all that? Uh, it was his choice. He made a choice, and I respected that choice. You should too. I... I guess so. It's just that never, not in my wildest dreams, did I think I'd get the chance to talk to Mr. Brad Burton in person. To get an opportunity like that and then have it snatched away. It, it hit me pretty hard. Still, I can't overlook the fact that for one glorious shining moment, I got to meet the man who invented Nuka Cola. I'll never forget that. Not ever. And it wouldn't have been possible without your help. Thank you. Yeah, it's been interesting. Thank me with caps. <coughs> are you going to use the formula? Now that you've got the formula for Nuka Cola, what are you going to do with it? I'm not a chemist, but I might try to brew some up just for fun. If that fails, well, I still got a new centerpiece for my collection. Here. I know it's not much, but you really went above and beyond the Call of Duty. I think I'll stick around here for a while and see what else I can find. By the time I'm done, I'm going to need a much bigger building to house my Nuka Cola Museum. 500 caps, not bad, not bad. 
and we almost leveled up. Nice. Okay, so where's the safe? Because it said we got a key to a safe, so where's the I safe? I wish you could have given me more time with Brad Burton before you got the power. Ooh, it's back here. Brad Burton's Project Terminal. Oh, this would be interesting to read. Okay, let's see what this says. <coughs> um. <coughs> oh, sorry, I did not mean to do that that loud into the microphone. Acquisitions. Let's see here. Uh, Merle's Very Cherry Soda. Original name. Merle's Very Cherry Soda. Um, <coughs> previous patent holder. Merle Harvard. Harv Harveston. New name. Nuka Cherry. Launched. Uh, flavor profile. <coughs> Nuka Cola and Cherry Mixture. No, it's original formula with local home brewed pure uh, cherry soft drink. Made slight adjustments to the formula. <coughs> <coughs> but otherwise left flavor intact. Mixed with Nuka Cola and enhanced with color to boost visual appeal. Grape Pearl Soda. <coughs> original name Grape Pearl Soda. Uh, Joni Chang. New name, Nuka Grape. <coughs> Launched. Flavor profile, Grape. Notes, original formula sold overseas. Flavor profile, virtually unchanged. Site ingredient adjustment for cost purposes. Full rebranding and repackaging. Completed as Nuka Cola Marketing Div Division. Uh, Sharon is down home country lemon. Okay. Uh, previous holder, Sharon Lawrence. New name, Nuka Cola Clear. <coughs> Awaiting final approval. Um, flavor profile, lemon lime. Original formula holds promise, but ingredients were, are quite expensive. Don't recommend use of current formula for cost effective production. We'll try and work out the kinks to get the flavor ready as soon as possible. Uh, packed full of Joe. William Lee. Um, Nuka Boost. Experimental. I don't think we've seen that one yet. Um, co or flavor profile. Nuka Cola and coffee mixture. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Coke Black. I don't know if anybody who watches my videos remembers Coke Black, but oh my god, was that stuff so good. It tasted like fizzy coffee. Like carbonated coffee. It was honestly, it was amazing. It only lasted about a year. It wasn't very long. And then it disappeared forever, and I've never ever seen it since. <clears throat> Original formula, adjusted to mix with Nuka-Cola flavor profile. Initial taste test, not positive. Recommended re rethink this flavor combination. Oh, whoops, hold on. Project Cobalt, okay. <coughs> General Braxton. General Braxton stopped by my office today. I already knew he was coming. My contacts in the Washington, D.C. thought of that. He asked for exactly what I expected. <coughs> the use of nuclear world's beverage here is for a military chemical in the weapons program. I told him I'd do it if he gave me the information on the military's leap acts, life extension and prolongation program. Uh, the look on his face when I asked for that priceless. As expected, he said yes. The moment the leap acts data arrives, <coughs> I'm putting the team I'm putting a team to work on it right away. It's obvious that this world is headed for the end, <coughs> and I intend to outlast it all. I had vault modify my personal vault to accommodate the machinery required to keep the Leapax system running. It's costing me a fortune, and I've had to divert money from the amusement park, but who cares? The money in the park won't be worth anything as, you know, when the world is smoking ruins. I've flown a few 
Leap X's researcher is down here to make sure the prototype works. I bet they're glad to still have a job, seeing as all the military's money is diverted to wartime resources. I'm hearing complaints from my Nuka World team about the cutbacks, but they'll just have to make do. Beckham is working with the project Cobalt Struck Gold. His team came with a custom isotope based on Strontium-90 he's calling Quantum. He's calling Quantum. He believes he can use the isotope to weaponize almost anything in the military's arsenal. He's come up with a few prototypes like the Nuka Nuke, and we've even used the Quantum to enhance the military's power armor suits. Ironically, <coughs> Mechum believes that we can use his isotope somewhat safely as an ingredient in the new Nuka Cola soft drink flavor. By reducing most of the harmful effects of the isotope, the Quantum will actually glow longer than the ingredients we use in Quartz and Victory, in fact. I told Mechum to start distilling it immediately and call it Nuka Cola Quantum. The original intention of Leapax was to create a living bio suit to preserve my body after it would normally expire. But now I've been told by those idiots <coughs> on the Leapax team that it's not possible. Leapax requires so much power and so many special components that I can only accommodate no more than 15 pounds of organic matter. That leaves me no choice. If I want to prolong my life, I'll have to, uh, let's see here. I'll have to have them preserve only my head. I've told them to proceed. I haven't come this far just to give up and await the inevitable. This is my final entry. Today, I will be undergoing the surgical procedure to have my head removed and transferred into the leap back system. <clears throat> if anything should happen, I've instructed Peyton Huxley, my ex executive assistant, to handle my affairs. <coughs> Peyton is the only one outside of Leapback's team who knows about this procedure, and I'm entrusting him to visit me daily and keep me informed of the events happening outside of my vault. Well. Okay. That's interesting. So even though he's dead, he, I guess, you know, his, uh, I guess, the electrons or whatever in his brain are still making his face and stuff move. Hmm. All right. I'd like to know, I guess, I'd where that, um, oh, what do you call it? Where that safe is. Because I didn't see a safe in here. Close this. Oh, Jesus. I can't believe he was alive all that time, stuck in that room. That must have been awful. Mm hmm. Must have been absolutely terrible. Okay, so. I don't know. <clears throat> you know what? How much you want to bet that the safe key is the one that. Uh, wait, can I close this? Probably not. Yeah, I guess not. <clears throat> How much you want to bet? It's for the safe that's up here. Anyways, I guess we're going to end this episode. Um, Going up. You know, so what we'll do is we will um, go back to the um, Fizz Top Grill. And we will end the episode there. Uh, there's quite a few changes in Sanctuary. Um which I will show you guys in the next episode. Because uh, we'll leave Nuka World and we'll go... <coughs> Actually, I think in the next episode we'll just start off in Sanctuary. All right, and that was today's episode of Fallout 4. We got to meet Brad Burton. Caleb Brad Burton, the creator, inventor of Nuka-Cola. 
as you can tell, he wasn't really the most nicest, amazing guy, um, as he kind of portrayed himself to be. <clears throat> um, you know, all he really wanted was wealth and power, and <clears throat> obviously he wanted to live longer, right? Um, he took resources from the park, and he's pretty much like, oh, well. Um, and then he kind of got screwed by the military, which, I mean, anybody <coughs> who's played Fallout has probably, you know, seen that coming. The <coughs> U.S. military, uh, pre-war, were definitely not the most upfront, uh, greatest people, to put it in the shortest of words. <coughs> um... So yeah, he got the short end of the stick. Yeah, he got to be alive forever. But he was stuck in an open room. And he had to stare at the same walls over and over again every day for the last 200 years. And I guess, you know, our guy felt a little bad for him. So he was like, okay, you know, I'll turn off the power. <coughs> you want to die, you know, I'll, we'll, we'll, you know, let you rest. So we did that, and we got some new uh, mini nukes called Nuka Nukes. Um, essentially, it's Nuka Cola Quantum mixed with <coughs> the explosive of a mini nuke. Um, you can make your own. Um, I'm not exactly sure what we need for that. We did get the uh, schematics and stuff, but you know, off the top of my head, I, I really don't know what we need. <clears throat> to to make them. Um, yeah, so it was that. If you guys enjoyed uh, Nuka World, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, meeting Brad Burton for the first time of ever <coughs> in this continuing storyline from all the way back to Fallout 3, um, you know, let me know if you were expecting more, if you kind of expected this was going to be the outcome, uh, if you kind of, you know, basically what, what your thoughts on on this whole situation with Brad Burton was, uh, you know, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, with that being said, I hope you all had a very good day, and I will see you guys <coughs> in the next episode of Fallout 4.